You, Marcus. Well, overnight, a major announcement out of Washington. There appears to be some relief on the way for workers and businesses affected by the coronavirus. And that's our top story this morning. I have an update for the information of all senators and for the information of the American people. And it's good news. It's good news for the doctors and nurses in emergency rooms around the country who are waiting for more masks and more funding. It's good news for families all across America. At last, we have a deal. The White House says it's reached a deal with Congress on a $2 trillion stimulus package to help jolt the struggling economy. And full details of the deal have yet to be released, but it's expected to include the following. $250 billion for direct payments to individuals and families, $350 billion in small business loans, $250 billion in unemployment insurance benefits, and $500 billion in loans for distressed companies like those in the airline industry. To all Americans, I say, help is on the way. Big help and quick help. We're going to take up and pass this package to care for those who are now caring for us and help carry millions of Americans through these dark economic times. Now, the $2 trillion package still needs to be passed in both chambers of Congress before it heads to the president's desk. And the Senate will reconvene at 11 o'clock this morning.